now we move on with the session. This is the actual uh, main part of the session, which is the guys that uh, different sessions on play in USMLE and also on the internship in the United States. Uh, at start, I would like to call upon, uh, now we have to begin the session, so I would like to call upon Dr. Inshad. He is a distinguished expert who will provide the valuable insights into the play, play guidelines and also we have the privilege that he is one of our champions. So I would like to call Inshal Bhai to come on the stage and we will start the session. Exam 
plans in the postgraduate level that will be difficult as compared to plans. So, plans actually the exam of your uh, graduation level, that is an MBU that you have done, how you can write that exam in the hospital settings, clinically how you can see the patient based on your knowledge of MBUs, that is plan. And MLCP is actually your postgraduate exam, it is a membership exam. There are several membership exams uh, of different specialties, like for Gaini you have MSQLT, or PhD you have separate membership exams, and uh, I advise you for membership exam for MRT EM, which is of emergency medicine, and for surgery you have membership exam MRTS. Uh, okay, so that is another pathway, and it has uh, two of these steps based on the specialty you are choosing. Now I will discuss more about the lab, uh, this topic. Before giving the lab, you need to be eligible for the lab. And by the I mean that you have to clear your eyes out of it. So it is an uh, exam of your English proficiency. So, like before two or three years, there was only eyes in Pakistan. So you, don't have, uh, you are not having any option uh, to do your eyes. Everyone was giving eyes. And uh, to be frank, eyes is actually a bit difficult, uh, especially in writing and speaking. In that you have to be proficient and not you have to be a different announcement, your English uh, it should be much better as you can. Uh, while in IT, it is easy to clear the exam with a little bit of hard work. Like you can easily clear it in 30 to 40 days uh, with proper guidance. Yeah. Without guidance, even if you are a debater, if you are going to give a very good speech, still you can't clear that exam if you don't have the proper guidance. So, uh, a very uh, close friend of mine, my junior. He was, uh, his English was excellent, he was debater at the job level, he had won many medals and everything, certificates. Uh, but to lack of awareness, he failed in order getting failed. On the other hand, I had uh, uh, one of my colleagues, his uh, matriculation was for good to medium and he was not, uh, he was not able to speak, I was even a single sentence of English. And uh, but he, he was very hardworking and he worked hard and within 30, within a span of 30 days he cleared that uh, exam of OIT. So what I want to say is that OIT is doable even if your English is not up to the mark. It's just a 30, 40 days of hard work. So once you have done OIT or IELTS, I will suggest to do OIT. IELTS is not the right way. But still, if you think that you are good enough, you can go for IELTS. So, once you are eligible, you can give the level exam. So for level exam, once you are passed out with uh, IELTS and RLP, then you need to make an account of GMC website. Uh, as I already mentioned, GMC is a medical counselor of UK, which will give you uh, as to practice there in UK. So once uh, you have created the account, then you can book the level exam. So uh, the only hurdle in uh, nowadays is that level exam is difficult to book. Like there are limited seats. Here it is conducted all over the world, and uh, in Pakistan it is conducted uh, at four times a year. But still, there are limited seats. For example, in one man, maybe there are 200 seats. So, uh, these, there are limited seats and these are the limitations. But still, uh, you have done all your eyes, and uh, you have made an account within, I would say, within five to six months, probably you will get the seat. All of it is based on luck. Before COVID, it was very easy to get, uh, get a lab and see it. It was, uh, it was too easy. Like just like uh, within two months, you can do for OLT and same was the case in lab one. But now in India, it is difficult. But I, as I already told you, that within six, within a span of six to seven months, you can get the uh, lab. So what is lab one exam? It is actually uh, exam uh, based on MCQs. So there are four or five options, and uh, uh, there are 180 MCQs in the exam, and uh, uh, pass percentage is very good, actually it is almost uh, 70%. So, here yeah, I know that in MBBS, uh, our result is 85 and our team in GMC goes to 100%. But still, obviously, uh, this is the exam if you are giving after graduation. Actually, uh, it's a very good result. So, uh, uh, and uh, out of one 
the AT question, I would say that uh, if you if you are gonna uh, if, if you have 120 correct answers, you are gonna pass it. So you can see the margin that there are almost maybe if you are going to make 60 mistakes, still you are gonna pass lab one. I don't think so that uh, it seems difficult. And uh, so how to pass lab one? So there is a question that known as lab zero. Uh, have you heard about it? So it's a question bank, you can see so 3,000 to 3,500 MCQs. So after that you solve the MCQs, uh, there is explanation load. And once you are done with those 3,000 to 3,500 MCQs, uh, and uh, after that if you have revised it only once, then I am 90% sure that you are going to pass it. It's too easy. It's not like that, you have to MBBS, आपकी कोई सब्जी आ गई या स्टेजेस हो गई या तो कि मैं ये नहीं कर सकता ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है इवन मैंने तो फेसबुक पे भी वीडियोस भी देखी हुई है उसके ऐसे भी इसका मजाक नया होता है कि आपकी सबसे जुड़ी हुई है करना आपने प्लान है तो वो बिल्कुल हो सकता है इसमें ये नहीं सोचना है कि मैं तो उसका उसकी मेहनत नहीं की हुई है वीडियोस में तो नो आई वांट बी बट टू क्लियर ऐसा कुछ नहीं यू कैन क्लियर इट इजीली यू आर वेलकम so, sir, right now uh, we are giving lecture on CLAP. Uh, so, it's, uh, this session is related to carrying something for power biology and the juniors. So, I have done CLAP and uh, now I am going to tell my juniors how to do it, how to pass up that exam. So, up till now I want to let it's not that difficult if you are done with the question bank and you are done with the Then, probably you are uh, able to answer the other day you are going to pass CLAP. These two are the main sources where you are going to prepare for lab 1. One is lab level and there is lab east. Lab level is actually the question bank, is the time to the explanation. And lab east is your practical points from which the MCQ of lab level are made. So we will get uh, to this slide for some time. First, I will tell you about lab 2. What is lab 2? Lab 2 is interactive station. There are a dean station, two are resident stations, and three are interactive stations. And it is like uh, you have a basement or a tenant of a basement in front of you, and in a closed room. And uh, the patient will be there with some sort of complaint. Say, for example, the patient is saying that I am having chest pain. So, uh, this, there will be a scenario which will be written outside the cubicle where uh, that station is going to take place. And uh, for example, outside it could be written that uh, John is sitting in the room and John is having chest pain. And uh, go, uh, go inside, talk to John, ask him what is complaint, uh, tell him what is the diagnosis, and then tell him what is the management of this disease. So I am giving you an idea of what they have to do. So there is a clinical scenario, and uh, obviously the patients are not real, they are making it. So then you go to the visa and you visit yourself, my name is Dr. Inka, I am a doctor in this hospital and I am in your treating position for today. Uh, then you ask about the presenting company, you take the history, just that you people uh, take the history for the first year, for your final year. And uh, after what you tell the patient that I am just practicing, you may be having muscular pain or it may be in China, anything according to the symptoms. So after what uh, you are uh, operating the diagnosis, you tell the patient the management. So it's actually a two interactive teams do and the patient are attended. So it's easy uh, if you have practiced it well. So yeah, lab two has some extra requisites. For example, after passing lab one, as I already told you that uh, you can only give lab two after lab one, and before lab one you have to give for you. So it is in this order. You can't do lab two before lab one, and like you can't do lab one before OD and IV. So for lab two, once we have passed the lab one, then uh, you book the lab two seats. So nowadays, uh, lab two uh, seat is available like out of five to six months. If today I have passed lab one, my result is out, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, book the seat of lab two. Then it will roughly take five to six months uh, uh, from today that I'm gonna give the exam. Obviously, there are too many candidates to uh, and they are coming from all over the world. 
uh, error of the alpha like tell you that that two is only containing UK in Manchester. Uh, on the other hand, Taiwan is connected almost all over the world in Pakistan, India, Malaysia, Dubai, even one of my juniors, uh, I think E5, even to Bangladesh, to the Taiwan is there. As I already told you that they are limited to the Taiwan, so people, they just book it and they go to Dubai, Karachi, Bangladesh, wherever they get the seats. Uh, and obviously it's better uh, to give the exam in another country as we were uh, if you are waiting for another one year for the seat in your hometown or province. So after booking lab 2, uh, you uh, apply for visa online, okay, and uh, you attach the email with uh, of the lab 2 booking and uh, then yeah, one another thing is that Obviously, you buy an academy for lab. As lab is an interactive exam, so you cannot prepare it by sitting at home uh, in your room. You cannot prepare it. Is, these are not MCQs. This is an interactive exam, and for that, fortunately or fortunately, you have to uh, you have to be in an academy to prepare for this exam. And uh, uh, nowadays, after COVID, uh, most of the people they prepare for this exam by sitting home uh, via video calls and uh, they practice with the candidates on Zoom. So this has happened after COVID to go that people need to go to UK and there we used to spend two months. Nowadays it happens that uh, people take the academy online and then uh, via Zoom or video conference they practice with each other and uh, but still you need to be in UK in a academy for at least one month to prepare for this exam. Without the academy uh, obviously it's not impossible but it's very difficult to pass this exam. So, um, so if obviously there are expenses of academy for lab 2. Okay. So I told you about lab 2 exam, within 3 weeks uh, you get the result of lab 2 exam. So it is, uh, passing percentage of lab 2 is about 62 to 65 percent. Like out of 162 students pass. Once again, it's, it's a good percentage, uh, but as compared to Clapham, it's uh, slightly less. So, if 100 students are giving Clapham exam, 62 out of 100 they pass. So, I have already told you that there are 16 sessions in total, and uh, there are two types of sessions, and approximately uh, this exam is of 3 hours. So the marking of practice exam is, or uh, it, it is based on three things. One is your assessment, your history taking skills, another is your management skills, and third is your interpretation. This is very important. The way to talk to the patient, um, do you acknowledge her, her or his emotions, if the patient is in pain, are you acknowledging the pain, for example if the patient says I am in pain, or don't, you just jump on to the next question. Ask the patient, oh, I'm so sorry that you are having this pain. Is there anything I can do for you right now? Are you comfortable to, for me to ask you further questions? Or I should give you any sort of pain killer? So, it's uh, also test of your empathy, how much empathetic you are. Uh, and for, in order to pass this thing, you need to pass 10 statements out of the 16. Yeah, uh, so there is uh, one update uh, for the next year. This exam is going to be converted to UK MLA. So, how it is different from lab? Uh, so, up till now, there is not that much information. Uh, but uh, it is actually affecting uh, the graduates of UK. We, uh, as we are, uh, we are not a graduates of UK, we are international student. We are IMDs, international medical graduates. So, it doesn't matter because of, uh, before we were giving lab exam and we were also having two parts and now uh, you can is also having two parts applied knowledge test and second step is clinical and providers in the assessment part so in short lab 1 and 2 uh, uh, probability is the same it won't affect us in any way uh, yeah, it, will, it may be uh, affecting those graduates of the UK but for us we were already giving two exams and again there are two exams so I, I don't think they want to it would make an effect. So if you want to search more about UK MLA, the thing is being made in this exam, you can write MLA content map on Google 
and uh, you can see the objects. So now two more important things I want to tell you. What is the cost? Most important question. Obviously after graduation, uh, you are in graduates. Uh, in campus you are paid uh, in house job as well. Obviously the expenditure is expensive are more uh, as compared to uh, the earnings here in Pakistan. I don't think so this is that much I will tell you my experience. So for IOT right now, I will tell you to please or uh, like it's one twenty thousand dollars for OET and uh, I will tell you maybe sixty thousand. Yeah, I will just keep but again for most of the people it's difficult to clear the uh, which I have seen in my place. So once you clear the IELTS, then it's have one is two forty seven pounds. So it would be around about 65 to 70,000, 75,000 uh, rupees. Once you clear lab 1, then lab 2. Major expense of in the lab that is so lab 2. Lab 2 exam itself is 906 pounds. Uh, which converting to rupees, it would be roughly about more than 3 lakh today. It is due to devaluing new rupee. Uh, when I gave this exam, it was found was like 235. Uh, rupees and uh, it was like two, two lakh twenty thousand dollars above three lakh. Then lab two categories it is also major expenditure. It could be like uh, one fifty thousand. Eight lakh it is okay. uh, Another major expense is your return ticket. Obviously you are gonna go to UK to pick up that exam or UK in Pakistan. So the expenses could be roughly about two to two point five lakh for return your ticket. Then obviously you are going to pay for visa at that 40 50,000 fees and uh, obviously you are going to stay in the UK for at least one month and for one month you have, uh, you have to rent out accommodation and uh, other expenses groceries so it would be like 1.5 uh, lakhs for that as well, 1.5 to 2 lakhs. So roughly nowadays overall I would say that it would take 15 to 16 lakhs. If you are lucky enough and if you are uh, gonna pass at least and OET by one and traveling first, it would take like 15 lakhs minimum today. Okay, that's all. If, uh, yeah, one more point. After passing the lab, then you apply for TMC registration, the medical counselor of UK. Uh, just like the one where you share after passing at least apply for PMTC. So once you are done with that one and two, you will apply for DMC uh, registration there in UK. And uh, obviously it also has expenses like uh, so 1.25 lakh like, almost. Uh, now they, they are giving concession and they are saying that if you belong to a country where like your annual income is less than a certain amount, then you will get the discount. And uh, fortunately we fall into that category and we will get the discount of DMC registration. Once you have got the GMC registration, nowadays it is taking up to 3 weeks to 4 weeks, according to my case nowadays. That after 3 to 4 weeks of online app applying for GMC registration, you will get the GMC registration with a license to practice in UK. And then uh, you have to make an account on NHS website and try jobs or uh, Scotland. They, they have a different website for jobs and then you will get the job. So, uh, one more important question which usually people ask is. Uh, will I be able to get the job after passing lab? So, uh, uh, seeing my colleagues, my juniors and seniors, a person who is making a CV and he is working hard on that CV and he is applying for jobs daily, uh, according to my colleagues, within six months I have seen every person getting the job. This is without uh, any MRCP 1 or 2 or any postgraduate qualification. Uh, those students who uh, I'm telling about, I'm telling experience about 8 to 10 candidates who tried to get a job and within 6 months all of those have got the job. Yeah, there is saturation and it is increasing day by day. But still, if today within 6 months people are getting the job, then obviously it's worth it. So that was from my side. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, you are welcome to ask. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you.